A Thousand Miles of Rivers and Mountains is a masterpiece of Chinese landscape painting. With dimension of 51.5 centimeters, large turquoise silk blends sceneries both from the north and south of the country, subtly presenting an aerial China version of the Song Dynasty, AD 960 to AD 1279. The painting shows the splendid and majestic rivers and mountains. Vast misty rivers and thatched cottages scattered among the breathtaking mountains. The viable, promising, travelable, and habitable state is the ideal world for 18-year-old Wang Ximeng. Wang Ximeng was born in the golden age of Chinese landscape painting, Song Dynasty, being personally thought by Emperor Huizong of the Song Dynasty, 18-year-old Wang Ximeng created this painting of a thousand li of rivers and mountains in only half a year. A thousand miles of rivers and mountains depicts a boundless and meandering landscape. The sky echoes with the river, and its silky hollows intertwine with the dark blue and light turquoise mountains. Expressing the enchanting artistic expression with its impeccable colors. A traditional coloring method of Chinese painting has been used, turquoise, generally using stones containing green and blue color minerals as the main pigments. It not only brings a condensed three-dimensional feeling to the mountain peaks, as well as adds a touch of brilliance to the painting. The features of the landscape are portrayed exquisitely in clear details. Still sceneries such as fishing villages, wild markets, waterside pavilions, bridges and ferry crossings, houses and villages are interspersed with dynamic sceneries such as fishing, playing and shopping. The collision of still images and dynamic scenes brings an opulent tranquil atmosphere to a thousand miles of rivers and mountains painting, filling the mountains and river with vivacity and dreams. This painting is not only the Chinese literati's yearning for the essence of nature, but also the pursuit of elegant life. Also, it depicts a panoramic view of the Song Dynasty. Although the painting is within a stone's throw, it envisages the panoramic view of the Song Dynasty. This is because Wang Ximeng fully implemented the three distances technique of traditional Chinese painting, comprising various methods such as high, plain, and far-reaching distance. Among them, the plain distance being the most used technique depicts the scenery through a bird's eye perspective, complementing the bending of mountain trails, streams, and rivers creating a clear sense of spatial layers. This technique differs from the way the Western painting is composed, displays the beauty of a thousand li of rivers and mountains from a distinctive perspective. A thousand miles of rivers and mountains depicts an ideal world without chaos, just simplicity and virtuousness. Composition-wise, it can be divided into six sections from right to left, and each section is united by detailed images of lakes, boats, bridges, and figures, etc. Rolling mountains standing tall, farther back in rolling hills or sitting villages, bonding with the undulating rivers, like a fairyland on Earth. In the lofty mountains, scattered waterfalls, deep courtyards, pines, and cypresses near the creeks lie within. Thick fog drifts above the mountain peaks from time to time, giving the illusion that the green hills pike into the sky. There are a few boats sailing on the river where a bridge spans over it. Legend has it that this is the exceptional Long Bridge of Suzhou which can be seen from all sides. The mountains extend from near to afar and farther away. There is a waterfall, which is said to be the four-tier waterfall of Mount Lu, 
with a viewing gallery bridge built on top to display the splendor of these mountains. The painting is filled with harbors, people, fishing boats, cargo ships anchoring on the river. It instills the soul of the market into the quiet and distant mountains. As the mountains rising gradually, the peak in the painting pikes to the sky. The dwellers nestled in the mountains, which adds vast vivid essence to the expansive mountain landscape. Gentle mountains are surrounded by rivers with resting streaks of cottages nearby. Far away is an island with fishermen fence fishing and a fishing spot sitting on its shore, capturing a moment of enthrallment and tranquility. The mountains return to gentle and the mountain voyagers enjoy the beautiful scenery from the lavish green bamboo pavilions and the peaks of the isolated mountain far afield as both the near and far depicts the vivid scenery of the south of the Yangtze River. A Thousand Miles of Rivers and Mountains is not just a painting scroll. It is the epitome of the ideal world of the Song Dynasty literati. In a vast landscape of a prosperous era, a young man in plain clothes hikes towards the quiet mountain. He will not grow old, always remaining 18 years old.